Houston, say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Hey there folks and welcome to a brand new Let's Play Bloodborne on the PS4. It's a PS4 exclusive and it's supposed to be extremely hard. <laughs> Which means I'm pretty doomed already. So I'm not sure what the ins and outs of playing online and offline are. I know in uh, Dark Souls, which is the same company that made this, it was the online features weren't so much playing with other people. I think people could invade your games and such like. Uh, I'm going to go with the offline experience initially because <laughs> I've no idea what the online experience means more than anything else. And we'll go with a new game. Depending on how well I do and or not do depends on probably how many of these let's plays I do on this game. I just a slider until the man is visible and beast invisible. Really? <laughs> Surely not. I think we'll go uh, midway ish. Oh, I see. Right, okay. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how I went next there. And that's it there. Right, okay. Normal, normal. Keep all the defaults, I think. Auto target. Hmm. That would be interesting to find out from anyone who's played this game whether it's worth turning that on or not. But I'll stick with the defaults, I think. Oh, yeah. Pale blood. <laughs> well, you've come to the right place. Yarnum is the home of blood ministration. You need only unravel its mystery. But where's an outsider like yourself to begin? Easy, with a bit of Yarnum blood of your own. First, you'll need a contract. Ooh. Right. Well, I've got to pick a name as well. <laughs> All right, then. I'll go with my... Default name that I tend to pick if I can't think of anything else. Old Buffy reference, that one. <laughs> yes, along with my profile name. Mail... Uh... I do play as... I have been playing as females more frequently. Uh, I just have found a lot of the voice acting far better on them. And I suppose there's a little part of me that thinks that maybe if I'm watching somebody run around a screen for 100 hours, it might as well be a female body that I'm watching run around the screen for a while. Maybe that's in there somewhere as well. However, in this particular case, I think we will stick with male. And stick with young. Ordinary happy upbringing, all attributes average. Lone survivor of lost Hamlet, high life essence and vigor. Yeah, we'll stick. I think there'll be a whole bunch of different. We'll go with the uh, all-rounder, I think.
I'm not overly sure what... Oh, there we go. How in-depth the styling of the characters are. I think, you know, I think I am going to go female. I just have this thing at the moment of going female characters. Yeah, okay. Let's do this. Doesn't seem to be an awful lot of like uh, like hair and stuff. Normally you can change the hair and stuff like that, but I'm not seeing any of that. Uh... Oh, there you go, hair and facial hair. Oh, it's under face for some reason. Right, okay. <clears throat> That's quite smart. Depends what the hair mechanics in the game are like, I suppose. <laughs> you give them, you give them really like cool hair, and then it just looks like straw when you actually start playing the game. That one or that one? What we reckoning? Uh, just give me a template. <laughs> nice. Get the open thing going on there, girl. Go for 50. Do what? Just one brow, is it? <laughs> we just get to do one eyebrow? Ooh, hello. One big eyebrow. Nice. And they seem to be... Yeah, those ones. Seems reasonable. Brow colour. Having the same as the... Uh, Hair colour. Because we'll notice that in game, won't we? Whether they're the same colour. <laughs> always makes me laugh. Spend so much time doing this sort of stuff and you're never going to see it in game. See the hair. You're going to see the colour of her eyes and stuff though. Eyelash colour. Seriously? Holy schmoly. Because we'll definitely see them in game, won't we? Eyelashes. Some long eyelashes there. Go with the long ones, eh? Why not? <laughs> we might as well make the eyelash colour the same. Auburn lady, Auburn lady. Where's the eyes then? Can not change the eye colour? You can change the eyelash colour, but not eye colour. Uh, oh, we'll give her a beard. Bearded ladies. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, pupils. It's a separate section for pupils all on their own. Colour of pupils. Uh, oh, blimey. That's complicated, isn't it? How do we do a... Oh, I've got no idea. Right, hang on. 100, 110, 90. 100, 110, 90. Oh, wow. Purple eyes. What I actually want is brown eyes. Let's see if we can make brown. Go 
we do that? Oh, there's green. Oh, it must be this. It must be some of this. I've got no idea how mixing palettes works. Come on, people. <laughs> how does it work? Well, that must be less blue then and green and red. Yeah, surely it's green and red, isn't it? Take the blue out completely. Oh, my goodness. That's some bright green eyes there, isn't it? Oh, hello. Might be going to war brown here. Oh, nice. Hazily type eyes. I like it. That was at 100. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. That's good. That's good. All right. No. <laughs> what? Oh, blimey. At least I know what I'm doing this time. God's sake. The other thing just had a back out button. That was at 100, wasn't it? Oh, good lord. Can't remember now. Oh, there we go. Get that blue down. Right, we're back where we started, ish. Think that's about right. All right, all right, all right. That's better. Ooh, glasses. We have a tattoo mark as well. Nah. Oh, hello. The old secretary look. Nah, I think we'll keep it normal. Right. I think we're good to go. Yeah, yeah, she ready. I like her. Right. She's going to kick some ass. That's what she's going to do. Save to favourites. Nice. Hey, that's a good idea. I like that. Don't see that in many RPGs, do you? Well, not the ones I've played. All right. How do we go next? Well, I think we need to call her something other than Xander. <laughs> I'm going to give her a light name. For a dark, dark place, I'm going to give her a light name. What can we think of? Uh, I know. Yeah, Sky. Come on, Sky. All right, here we go. This could be painful, people. Very painful. <laughs> Try to keep positive thoughts here. Lots of dying. I've never heard anyone who's played this game and not died constantly. I think the competitiveness of it, because you die, you try it again, you try it again, you try it again, and you finally find your way through. Good. All signed and sealed. 
Now, let's begin the transfusion. Oh, don't you worry. Whatever happens, you may think it all a mere bad dream. I already think it's a bad dream. He's gone. Oh shit. What's that? Whoever that was. It's official. I'm having nightmares tonight. You found yourself a hunter. Oh, nice. Hey, Sky. It's all a bad dream. All right, here we go. Handwritten scroll, seek pale blood to transcend the hunt. Wow, it's full of atmosphere, the game. Beautiful to look at as well. Beautifully panning round. Smooth as. Okay. <laughs> Sweet. The little guys are showing me something. R1 attack right hand weapon. Alright, that's interesting. Lock on, click R3. All right, so just toggle on and off, basically. Could do with a bloody weapon, though. I don't think much is going to get hurt by me chopping it with my hands. Oh, shit. Well, didn't tell me about that move. <laughs> it's awesome. That was the right trigger. Power move. There's something up there, people. There's something up there. Hey, doggy. Nice doggy. Am I supposed to creep around this, or am I supposed to just walk forward and punch the thing? Whoa, whoa. I don't think I was meant to do that. <laughs> well, there you go. First encounter and I'm dead.
There was a big uh, hoo-ha about the loading screens after you died, and there was a patch for it. Oh, right, here we go. Maybe I was meant to die. Wow, it's a beautiful game, isn't it? Blimey. Oh, accept gifts. Hello. The messengers offer you a trick weapon. Choose one trick weapon. What? Choose one. All oh, right, sorry. The messengers offer you a trick weapon. Choose one. Trick weapons are wielded with the right hand and employed in beast hunting. Right. What are we going to use then? So... Hmm. Saw cleaver. The stats on the right there are changing, aren't they? So durability is less. Physical attack is less. I suspect the speed's better though, isn't it? Maybe. Yeah, the attribute requirement at the bottom's different. Threaded cane. Um, all right, there we go. Change the stats. Right, I'm not sure actually for Sky. I don't think we want the Hunter Axe. I think that's a bit beastly for her. The Saw Cleaver, I think I might have seen the Saw Cleaver in someone's playthrough, but the Threaded Cane's an interesting one. Its strength is less, but it, I think the hand must mean it's quicker, possibly. And it needs less to hold, blah, or whatever. So we've got 12 strength, so we can we can hold any of these by the looks of it. Yeah, see so I think I think the top and the bottom one are more speedy items. I'm going to go with the cane, because it's the one that should be least exciting, but I think it might be quite cool for her. Let's try it. Let's give it a whirl. I guess we can always change it later. The messengers offer you a firearm. Choose one firearm. No, choose one. Firearms are wielded with the left hand and employed in beast hunting. All right, all right. So we've got... That's a rifle, is it? And that's a pistol, I assume. I think I want the pistol, without any doubt. A notebook received from the messengers. Leave messages with these loyal servants to share them with hunters in other worlds. How do you... is there a menu to put stuff on? Inventory. Uh, it could be, of course, they're already equipped and I just... because of the area we're in, we... Uh, 
use. Alright, I think they are equipped. <clears throat> it's fine. Alright, okay. Trade in blood echoes with messengers to buy and sell items. Seems reasonable. So he's a shop, basically. Oh, hang on. Holy chalice is required to conduct a ritual. All right, okay. They have a relevance at some point then. They're all the way up the path, aren't they? All right. I assume we'll pick those up as we go. If indeed I do go anywhere. <laughs> and there's not just a whole bunch of dying. Okay, uh... Sweet, alright. Whoa, freaky guy in a wheelchair. Is that not the guy from the beginning? Hey dude. What's going on? <laughs> I think I've turned up at an old folks home at the minute. Let's go. This stump appears linked to the nightmare, but there are no messengers. It's just not where I came from. Yeah, it is. Well, stumped would be the right word. Well, he's the only person I've found. Oh, hello. There we go. Yeah, he didn't say anything, did he? <laughs> well, it won't let me in here. Let's try this way. Oh, hello. What's this? Awaken at a selected location in Yarnum. Oh, I see. So we can go back. Right, all right. Hang on. Just before I do that, I'm going to look up this way. So I think, I mean, from the tiny wee... Oh, hello. <laughs> Left and... Oh, circles run. Right, okay. All right, okay. Seems reasonable. Use an item, toggle the items with up, down, blah. Whoa. Oh. That was a bit of a waste. What did up do then? So you're just picking something with those buttons, presumably. I do seem to have... Uh... Alright, 
okay, maybe it's... I don't know what that bottom one is. Is that a knife or something? Top left I'm looking at here, by the way, while I'm rambling on. There's two items at the top. I also seem to have lost some health for some reason. Use an item, toggle items with the bottom button. Alright, so you don't select them, you just toggle through the two that are selected at the time, presumably. Switch weapons. Alright, oh, okay. That's why she's just doing that, because we don't have weapons at the minute. Emergency Quicksilver Bullet Replenishment. Use with caution. Performing this action drains HP. There you go. That's why I just lost that HP. Because I hit the up on the D-pad. Not knowing what I was doing. <laughs> Gestures, personal effects. All right. It's actually clever enough to know if you tap the left or the right of the touchpad. <laughs> the notes yield by messengers contain the written wit and wisdom of hunters from another world. Quick look down the bottom here and then we'll get back to it. <laughs> Transform weapon, transforming attack. Hmm. Okay, that doesn't make much sense to me at the moment. I guess it will. There you go, strong attack, which I discovered by accident. Hold R2, charge attack. All yeah, right. Nice. Hitting an enemy from behind with a charge attack causes them to stagger. Shooting your firearm will interrupt and stagger an enemy when properly timed to their attack. When next to staggered enemy, visceral attack. Oh, one. Alright, stagger them and then use your standard. What? After taking damage from an enemy, there is a period of time in which attacking the enemy in return will restore a certain amount of HP. Alright. That's quite good. Get some HP back if you're in a staggered position or whatever. And I think that's what we've done already, isn't it? Receive assistance from hunters and other worlds using beckoning bell. I know that's new. Uh, doesn't say how to use beckoning bell though, does it? Assist the hunters of other worlds by using the small resonant bell. Right, there we go then. Right, we're going to go back and we're going to see if we can fight now. I assume. <clears throat> small bell discovered in the old underground labyrinth. This ring resonates across worlds. First hunter uses a special signal to call hunters from other worlds. <clears throat> Take it we're going to go back to where that beast was now. I do like the uh, I like the world and I like the ambience of it. It's just whether or not I'm capable of playing the game. <laughs> uh, what's this? All right, okay. Seems to have come back to a central room. Yeah, it's just telling us the same stuff. So, I assume this is where the... I'm slightly confused as to why I've not got my kit on. There's, or possibly, do they not wield them unless... They're actually in sight of an enemy. Yeah, it doesn't seem to...
Right, there we go, thank you. Flippin' heck, eh? Uh, hmm. There we go. So you can have two of one weapon and two of another. Right, I maybe missed a trick there, but I don't remember being shown that. But anyway, right, okay, fine. Right. It's a bit better, isn't it? And do we have to swap then if we're going to use a second? Nice. Uh, how do we use the pistol? How do we use it? There we go. Alright. Now we're cooking. Whoa, Jesus Christ, a bit harsh. Alright. I need to learn me dodging a bit better. The locking on is really cool. Ooh, bloody hell. I love that. When you kill enemies and they're still solid on the floor, that sort of stuff. I love that sort of stuff. Is that not something in him that we can pick up, though? Oh, there we go. I assume blood vials heals us, maybe? Uh, how do we do that again? <laughs> Not like that, I think, is the answer. There must be a... Slightly confused as to what the quick menu is now. Oh, I know, use item, wasn't it? Toggle item. Do I need to equip those as well? Is that what it is? There we go. There we go. No, maybe not. Sacrifice all blood echoes and awaken a new notebook. No, doesn't look like it. Hmm. All right. Well, <laughs> where's the three potions that we've got in our top left-hand corner? That's confusing me a bit. Right, I'm going to have to figure out as we go. I don't, I don't know. There isn't any buttons left for me to figure out. All the trigger buttons are fighting buttons. The up button on the... I don't want to go any further forward without healing up, though. How do we sort that out? There's nothing equipped on that. I know, I know. I have a plan. <laughs> Although I don't think they told me in this room what the... I think this was just the fighting moves, wasn't it, in here? <laughs> Open menu, that's fine. Know that. Alright. 
Sorry, a little bit of a slow start, folks, but I will get the hang of it. <laughs> Just want to know how to use my potions, that's all. But apparently it's too complicated for me to figure out. But I'm pretty sure it told me somewhere in here. Yeah, got that one. Use an item. Toggle items. Yeah, that's. I'm pretty sure that's all it told me. <laughs> that's the one I hit by mistake. And does it say what that's for? <laughs> Use this caution, with caution. Performing this action drains HP. Quick civil bullet replenishment. I assume it just replenishes all your bullets. But... You suffer the consequences of losing HP. Right, I don't know then uh, how to use that. Because using an item... Cause there's a blank box at the top and two items to the left of it where the health bar is. And I assumed that those, the, where it says three is health. And... Use this. Abandoned doll. Let's have a look in the menu. Now there's consumables there, and according to that, we've only got a hunter's mask and a notebook. I must be misunderstanding what those three things at the top of the screen are. Without any doubt. I'm going to assume that there's no normal way of saving in this game. <clears throat> Let's try and get out of this building. Be damned the consequences. We've got no health right enough because I've hit that up button twice and lost half my health. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, well, right. You get your health back when you go back to that place. That seems reasonable. Right. Either that or it's replenished. But, uh... Regened, as it were. Kind of reminds me of the ambience of... Evil Within, a little bit. Oh, hello. Who's he? Okay. I wonder if blood vials, then, are when you push up to get that Quicksilver reload or something. Suggest to me that it being read that it's uh, health though. Ah, here we go. Restore HP using blood vial. Thank you. Using triangle. Thank you. <laughs> if I'd only just ran forward, I would have been told this, wouldn't I? All right then. Thank you for your assistance. Got five of those now. That's good. Well, what the hell was that? Holy wow, check that out. Well, Sky, looks like we've got a lot to do. I don't know if it's one of those RPGs where you should look everywhere, but it certainly seems like it. Creepy-ass statues, isn't it? Ah, right, okay. That's the quicksilver bullets. Well, something's above us. Sounding very friendly. Well, we've got a gate behind us and a gate in front of us. I assume we came through that one.
Yeah, I don't. Uh... I'm slightly concerned that I don't know what the saving process is of this game. I, I realise that these games don't let you just save anywhere because that's part of the difficulty. But I haven't seen anything flash up on screen. There's a dude up there. All oh, right, things don't stop when you hit the menu either, <laughs> which is particularly concerning. What does that do? Sacrifice all blood echoes and awaken anew. All right, so you dump all that, all of your blood echoes, and presumably you come back to life without losing anything. Doing alright for blood echoes at the minute. Can we get over there? Can't jump in this game, I assume. You can break boxes though. It's interesting. I guess we're going to have to go and have a look at some point. I assume you can't crouch in this game either. This hasn't mentioned it. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Easy. reason I couldn't lock on there. I'll get the hang of it. I think possibly I was holding it down instead of just toggling it. Didn't drop anything, did he? Open that gate. to pick up. Oh, what was that? Oh, lever. Alright. Yes, what is the device, though? Whoa. Slightly better. Oh, hello. There's another one. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. I'm hitting left. I'm clicking the left stick to try and uh, lock on. It's all about the dodging, dodging, dodging. It's one of those things, though, I'm going to be loving this game until I find it really difficult. <laughs> I love the world, love the ambience, love the characters, love the... the vibe. Okay, <laughs> it was a ladder. I was expecting some kind of awesome booby trap there for a minute. Uh, so we can go up, or... Can't go through there. Now, there is something big wandering around up here. Over at the top there, I can see it. Okay, that's fine. 
I just wanted to check that there wasn't an alternate route through that gate and we were supposed to avoid it by the ladder or whatever, but it's locked, so we have to go up. That doesn't sound good, does it? Can we fall off ledges? It does seem that we can, so we need to be careful. All right, did we light the lamp? Does it save? This lamp now transport you back to the hunter's dream. Upon death, you will awaken at this lamp. All right, okay. So I can... Uh, 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 it's the same as, as I remember Dark Souls and what have you being. They, in those ones, you had to light a campfire in order to... That would be the spot you went back to, whereas in this, it seems to be these lamps. Very same concept. So I assume... Ooh, hello. <laughs> you can still run around in game while you're in that menu. So there you are. So I transfer back here simply for the case of... Oh, there's a little saving symbol on the top right there, I think. That's exactly what we're after. I transport back here simply to say that this is an awesome place to finish up part one of... Bloodborne on the PS4. Actually really enjoyed that. I, I realise it's going to get a lot, lot tougher and it's taken me a little while to, to get to grips with it, but really enjoying it. Looking forward to part two already. So I will be posting up a lot more of this, I think. And it has been an honour and a privilege serving for you again in this game. And I will see you in the next one, folks. Take it easy. Bye.